Hello my soccer universe and welcome to part 5 of this year's AFCON jersey review and in this group we have of course the big favorites Algeria although by the time this posts I'm not sure if they're still in contention or not because I'm uh, sure Schultzung is not just ahead of the tournament <laughs> and I don't know yet how the schedule will be but anyway you are watching now uh, the jersey review for um, 5 it's interesting because it's the only video where we have probably uh, three kind of biggish brands in there the only one where we have Adidas in there uh, which is a little bit staggering uh, knowing how very frequently the big uh, companies tend to scoop up teams not for the AFCO where we have a lot of um, variety in suppliers which makes it an even better tournament as always I took my pictures from footy headlines so uh, at the start of the tour tournament I hope there will be not too much difference uh, I have observed um, that you know uh, in past two to two minutes there are often slight alterations but let's hope it works all out and we're starting this review actually with Algeria, where I'm wearing the 2010 jer jersey, who are the Adidas team now, uh, which I always found a little bit sad that they switched over from Puma to Adidas, but I guess um, they got a better contract. Algeria, by the way, has been in really good form uh, in the run-up to this tournament. Uh, they're about to uh, break Italy's rare record of unbeaten games in a row. Uh, I, th I think if they make it out of the group stage unbeaten, they have done so. Um, and unfortunately, I know they have a little fennec. I mean, here we have a big fennec. Uh, here they have a little fennec on the back of the jer uh, jersey. I don't have a pig picture, but I think it's a nice touch. I've seen it uh, in play. Uh, but they more or less got a standard template in many ways with, uh, yes, a nice pattern on there. But I have the feeling this is more a template than it, than it is a dedicated uh, pattern for Al Algier. And this is my... Uh, perceived at least let's say a perceived gripe with the jersey i have not seen it for us so i mean there's some hoping uh all also not there are two stars above the crest which is um uh pretty nice but you know other than that typically adidas and i don't really really like the color to be honest so yeah uh what can i say uh down the middle i will i would say it's a five star i cannot give it much more um the, here we actually see the fanning on it's on the inside of, of the call the green jersey i actually do lie, like better because the pattern comes out a little bit more which makes it a little bit more spectacular and yes i've been going on that some patterns are a little bit too much but this is nice it's kind of tone in tone all over and if it's i doubt that this is something uh, related to algeria but if it was great if it isn't i have to say this jersey looks quite kind kind, kind, kind of nice and this one that yeah i have a little bit my eye on as well i again i would love if the soccer ball from the crest could just drop out and there we have you know just get the fennec on there that would be really 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 nice but other than that i have to say this is a seven star jersey really like that one then we move on to the Cote d'Ivoire or Ivory Coast. I'm always getting com com confused. I thought at one point that uh, it wants to be called Cote d'Ivoire, even in English, but now I see it more often called Ivory Coast. I, for this review, I went now with Cote d'Ivoire, although very often I'm uh, using now Ivory Coast in my notes, so take it or leave it. Uh, this is one of the more understated Puma releases for Sub-Saharan African teams, but something about this you know it looks like a barcode or a qr code on there just doesn't work for me it's kind of this rigidity of the whole thing i mean if you go out you can see there's a little bit of chain 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 but other than that meh, not really not really uh crazy about it to be honest so yeah it is uh, at least it's orange and green at least that i can tell but it's not my favorite jersey, but I think it's a six uh, star. It's the away jersey where everything breaks down for me. Um, you know, you have the national colors of green and orange. Why do you go to white and black? Yes, there's a little bit orange in there, but wouldn't this be nicer if you would, you know, mix with the bars into Ivory Coast flags or whatever? This one is not very appealing to me. Actually, it's, it's one of those jerseys at this AFCON where I really say this is grab into the toilet two stars i really really do not like uh this particular jersey 
Moving on to Equatorial Guinea, which has the smallest uh, supply in area, which is at least an unknown so, so, so supplier. And yeah, we have all the national colors on there. I am not so sold on the, you know, the white coming down and then coming up and then some darker blue in the quadrants. That looks to me, honestly, a, a teeny bit weird. It's a weird looking shirt, I have to, I, I have to say. I do like that the, the collar and the sleeve cuffs are a different color. So, I mean, the basic setup of the shirt is rather simple, but there's something not quite right about uh, the pattern to me. Uh, also, not one of the more attractive ones. I'm going to give this four, although it's a rare blue jersey for Africa. The away jersey is nicer. Um, with the white and red, I mean, it, 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 and then there's some patterning on there, which make it interesting to look at. Uh, that one, I would uh, go for a six. And then we have a third jersey, which is potentially the best one out of them, because we have an all over print, uh, but in but a very simple jersey in red. I think this one does do a good job, but uh, will we'll, we'll go above the home jersey. It has, has kind of an MC Escher effect in there as well. Uh, but I would not go uh, higher than that. Uh, I, I, I would say this is a six star. And then we're at the last uh, at the last team of this review, which is Sierra Leone. Uh, Umbro, and again, Umbro, what Umbro does. This reminds me a lot of the Zimbabwe away jersey. However, to me, it does work a teeny bit better, I gotta say. Uh, yes, it is wild. It's also a rare uh, blue shirt, but you know, blue paired with green. Uh, and you know, just a little bit accent, and it actually fits nicely with the crest because if the green up top, and then where the blue is, there, there comes the blue, and then it's mostly a blue part. Uh, maybe the darker blue strokes are a teeny bit too much, but I do like the inventiveness of that one. Uh, it definitely makes a splash. Maybe we have the crest might be a little bit, which is also not not all great. Might might be a little bit disappearing. But I gotta, gotta say, it, this is a strong effort. Uh, I would go seven uh, with this one. Uh, the away jersey in white, you know, you have the Sierra Leone flag, seems similar to what Burkina Faso offered uh, in the middle, which is okay. And then you have some grayish pattern on there. I mean, it's not the greatest picture again. Uh, sorry, sorry for that. It is what it is. Um, but yeah. yeah. It also kind of leaves me cold because, you know, the center strap doesn't make all too much sense on a white jersey because, uh, you know, there's white. It, 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 it kind of looks you have a green bar and a blue bar uh, coming up. So, uh, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit more boring. I'm going to go five and then a more exciting one. We have green with blue. Um, yeah. I do, there is something about it. I mean, uh, the green and blue color combination is one of the most underused in soccer, I gotta say. So I always should commend that. I'm just that uh, the addition pattern, there's kind of a little bit umber diamond going on on this well. It's, but, and it also reminds me a little bit of mold growth up there. So uh, that doesn't make it too appealing. But on the other side, I really like that they're doing something different for a small, uh, difference for a small team like Sierra Leone. So I think I'm gonna go six here and we're done with group E. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Drop a line below where you agree and disagree with me and which one was your jersey in here. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.